Hi, I'm Megan Cherkasian, and I'm here in New Jersey at my grandma's house, and she's going to show us how to make my favorite Armenian bread, chodek. It's such a family favorite that my cousin Paige is here to help, too. In this bowl, there's uh, two and a half pounds of flour and some sugar, fennel seed, black caraway, and um, that's all, and an egg. I always put an egg in. You don't have to put the egg in. It's the butter that makes it tasty. I use a half a pound of butter and you pour it in. And there's all this is all there is to it. Nothing to it, but you must knead it. And that's what we're going to do. Now, see how it's all sticking all over on my hands and everything. This is the hardest part. And then it rises, you see. You have to put it aside, it has to rise. How long does it take to rise? About three hours. Paige, do you like cooking with Grandma? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's a little cook. Let me try. Oh my, you gotta get the liquid out of here. Try. It's good you know how to feel of it because you gotta get that liquid well mixed, see, it's sticky. I'll cover it like that with a towel. With a towel. Grandma, who taught you how to make chod egg? My mother. <laughs> my dear mother and my grandmother. It's a simple pastry. And when it rises, it's like this. And you take it out. See, so the yeast makes it rise like that. It has the bubbles. Wait, I'm not ready. We got a lot to do. We're very busy today. <laughs> I'm going to make you a batch here, like this. You can make it. My mother used to make it into a knot or into a braid, or you can make three straight. You can make it single sticks, too. This is the way I do it. You're just supposed to very lightly. Now, I don't know what I should do. Should I make a knot first? Sure. I'll make a knot, okay? Now, I take the, this and I dip it like this. I stick it on this way. That's all there is to it. There's nothing to this. How do you make a braid? Like so. Look, I cut a piece, um. one third, really. And you put it in the middle, always go in the middle, and that's the way you do. And you stick it in key. here, and you put it in the pan. Now, there are some people who make very large ones. And like some, a big loaf. Yeah, and some people, mm. some people make it um, very dry, so it's crispy like, you know, but um, it's, it's, well, it's just something nice to have in the house. It's just something nice to have. What makes it Armenian? I guess the seasoning, the fennel seed and um, black caraway seeds. Yeah, that's what makes it Armenian. Did I do it right? You did very nice. <laughs> just dip it in the egg. Don't forget the egg. Now, we used to brush it with egg, but this is easier. Sometimes we have it for dessert, too. Yeah, you can have it for dessert. It's just a nice thing to have. Put on the top. Then I'll ro rotate it so it cooks good. And that's it. We'll do another tray, and that's it. How long do they cook for? Oh, I think about 20 minutes. I'm going to get on the Turn you, honey bunny. <laughs> this is it, kid. I'm going to take it out. Golden brown. Yeah, they are. Beautiful. I, this is the way I do it so it cools, you know. Stuck a little bit. And it's done, so you can tell by the I hope it tastes good. Of course, our favorite part is eating the chode. For the full recipe and story about our Armenian bread, go to the link below. Thanks, Grandma. You're welcome. Enjoy.